Hello friends, it's me, Mr. Proft, welcoming you to our very first video lesson. Um, sometimes you'll be seeing me in these videos, sometimes you'll be seeing Miss Dano, but um, regardless of who's here, we're glad you're here. And you know what? Not only did you show up for our very first uh, video class meeting, but you actually showed up on a very special day. It's special because I just got a letter. When I was a kid, when I was your age, I used to love getting letters uh, from my grandparents because it was fun hearing from them. Um, it was also cool because they would send me money sometimes and I really liked that. But this, um, this particular letter did not come from Grandma Marguerite in Minneapolis. It actually came from Miss Guerrero, our school principal. I scanned the letter in so you can see it. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and flip. Uh, I'll share my screen so you can be able to look at the letter with me. Oh, and here it is. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and read it to you. It says, Dear Kindergarten Students, Welcome to JCA. We are so happy you are a student here. As your principal, one of my jobs is to make sure you stay safe, learn a lot, and have fun together. I know you've already begun to learn about your classroom and one another, but there is still so much for us to learn together. For the next few weeks, I want you to be play experts and learn how to make playing fun. I want you to discover how to take care of each other while you play. Sometimes we'll play with toys, sometimes we'll play games. I also want you to learn about each other so you can teach me about your new friends and how they like to play. How, she actually she used the word prefer, how they prefer to play. Kindergartners, you have a lot of work to do. I hope you will write me a letter to tell me all about what you learn. Your new friend, Miss Guerrero. So that was really cool. She sent us a letter. Um, in the letter, she asked us to become play experts. Kind of a special word, experts. Try saying that with me. Ready? One, two, three, experts. Uh, you may wonder, what is an expert? Think about that for a second. What is an expert? If you think you know, tell your grown-up or whoever is with you right now. Tell them what you think the word experts means. Okay, well, let me show you what an, an expert is someone who knows a lot about something. They've spent a long time studying or a long time practicing, a long time learning about something. Can you think of somebody who is an expert? Let me show you. I'm going to go back to sharing my screen here again. Boop, hit that button. Boop, hit that button. Hit that button. There we go. So an expert, I said, is somebody who knows a lot about something and they've spent a long time studying about that thing or they have spent a long time practicing that thing. A doctor is a kind of expert. A doctor is an expert at people's bodies. She knows a lot about people's bodies. She knows a lot about what makes them sick. And more importantly, she knows a lot about how to make them feel better. So a doctor is an expert in taking care of people and making them feel better. A plumber, oh my gosh, a plumber is an expert at all the pipes that go into your house. And if there's a leaky pipe or a plugged toilet, or if your, uh, you know, the hose in the backyard doesn't work, he knows how to fix it. And he has all kinds of special tools and all kinds of special equipment that he uses to fix those problems. So he is an expert at the pipes and the plumbing in your house. A bus driver is an expert at driving a bus. I, I could not drive a bus. They're gigantic, they're hard to turn. Oh my gosh, try to park one. Being a bus driver, it takes a lot of training. Like the, the people who drive the city buses or even the school buses, they need special driver's licenses. They need to t pass a special test. So they really need to be an expert in how to go ahead and steer these things around. Um, so Ms. Guerrero wants us to be play experts. She wants us to be experts at playing together. So what are some things, if you were going to go and play with someone, if you were going to play with a friend, what is something you would want to do or something you would want to not do? If you were going to go play with somebody, could you just keep all your toys to yourself and not share them? 
No, you would probably want to share them. So sharing and being kind and being considerate is one of the ways that we can become play experts. One of the things that we can do to be able to go ahead and play with other people. What you're going to do later today, I want you to think about what it's like when you go and play with somebody else. And I want you to draw me a picture that shows how you can make playing with someone fun. If you're going to go and play with your best friend, what is something you might want to do to make sure you both have a good time? Um, I use the example of sharing. You might want to share, but what else would you want to do if you're going to become uh, a play expert and be able to play with a friend? So later, uh, one of the other slides is an assignment where you're going to draw a picture of yourself playing with one of your friends. And I want you to be thinking about what could you do to make that play time more fun. So this kind of leads into our learning goals for today. And I'm going to go back to sharing the screen. We're going back and forth all day here. Uh, our learning targets for today. Uh, I can participate in a conversation with my classmates. We're going to spend some time in our small groups talking to one another, uh, practicing talking to one another. And like I said, I can draw a picture to show how to make playing together fun. That's going to be another one of your assignments today. Drawing a picture to show how you can make playing together fun. Very good. Okay. Well, thank you for being here for our very first video lesson. Uh, you can move on to the other slides. There's other activities, other stuff for you to do. Very excited to be doing this with you. It's not as much fun as doing it in person, but you know, there's still a lot of cool stuff we can do. So I'm Mr. Proct on behalf of myself and Ms. Dano. We wish you a very happy day.